everybody, it's Honest John again. Now from the first day that she arrived in Congress, Representative Ilhan Omar has been a target for the Republican Party. Most recently at a gathering of the GOP in Virginia, there was a picture of her with the Twin Towers burning in the background. Now, obviously she had nothing to do with that. But this kind of thing has been predictable. The American right wing frequently equates any Muslim with terrorism. She has also been criticized as being anti-Semitic for comments critical of AIPAC, uh, uh, a pro-Israel lobbying, lobbying group, and for her criticisms of the uh, policies of the uh, Israeli government. But it's a fact that the Israeli lobby is very powerful here in the United States and that any criticism of Israel's policies is often labeled as anti-Semitic. They do this to avoid serious debate about what's actually going on there. Now I'm not going to pretend that I know what's in Congresswoman Imram's heart, but her criticisms of AIPAC and the Israeli lobby and the Israeli government are legitimate. And for a long time, American support for Israel has turned a blind eye to the inhumane expansionist policies of the Israeli government, especially under Benjamin Netanyahu. We are at a point now where a just peace between the Israelis and the Palestinians is becoming impossible. And you can talk all you want about Hamas or the Palestinian Authority, and they're richly deserving of any criticism you give them. But the fact is, is that the actions of the Israeli government have been responsible for the roadblocks to peace in the area. Their support for the settlement movement and oppressive policies against the Palestinians are a violation of international law and common human decency. Any attempt to find a way to broker a peaceful settlement between these two groups must begin by acknowledging those two facts and seeking to reverse them. Thanks for listening. Well, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. But there are certain changes that Google has made to YouTube, which since I'm a smaller channel, means that I can't monetize my videos. So I found places where I can. So instead of watching my videos here on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you go either to Patreon or to uh, Top Buzz. Uh, they, they let me monetize videos and I don't even have to put commercials on. So if you want to become a patron on Patreon, that's fine. If you don't, you can still watch the videos there. I've just kind of given up on YouTube. YouTube is just a place that I use so that I can put my videos in other places. So, Patreon, Top Buzz, the links are in the description box. Thanks a lot.